My life was perfect. I could be the protagonist of a Netflix series. I had all the qualities of a main character. I was charming, <laughs> had a great sense of humor, and was popular at school. And of course, as the protagonist, I needed best friends. Meet my biggest cheerleaders, Liv and John. A series about us would be called, hmm, my name is Chloe. What do you think? I like it too. I needed a cool soundtrack. Oh, perfect. By the way, what do you like to eat while watching Private Diary? I always bring some ice cream. <laughs> Let's get it on! Our magnificent trio were considered the coolest guys at school. Liv was an athlete and the star of the school swimming club. John sang his own songs at all the school concerts. As for me, I was our leader and had the most difficult task to always be awesome. There was only one thing missing from my perfect life. Mr. Perfection. When a new kid called Keanu huh? transferred to school, my heart <gasps> sang, Chloe, it's him. Hi, I'm Chloe. By the way, we're going on a date tonight. Um, I have a date with my algebra textbook planned. That's when I realized that uh -huh. winning over the stubborn, handsome guy was going to be a challenge. <sighs> it was like he didn't even notice me. But giving up wasn't in my vocabulary. So soon, Keanu uh -huh. finally asked me out. It was a miracle. An unforgettable surprise will be waiting for you in the cafe today. <gasps> Yay! I always got what I wanted. I kept fixing my hair and my makeup all through the day. In the evening, I came to the cafe. My prince wasn't there yet. Uh -huh. But a waiter immediately came up to me and handed me a note from Keanu. He asked me to go up to the roof of the cafe. Mm, that was so cute! Keanu prepared a romantic adventure for me! I went to the roof and looked around, trying to find Keanu. There was no one there, but I saw another note under a stone. Wow! <laughs> the adventure continued. However, it was so windy my hairdo was ruined! Holy crud! The note told me to go to the back door of the cafe. I headed down and saw a new instruction glued to a dumpster. While I was tearing it off, the cook came out of the cafe. He tried to throw the uh -huh. garbage into the dumpster, but missed and hit me instead. Ah! Ew! I kept running around and following the instructions in the notes. I got soaked in the rain, broke my nails, and tore my dress. I looked like an evil witch from a Disney cartoon, and I was exhausted by the end of it. The last location of the quest was the school gym. It was dark inside, but I was sure that Keanu had prepared a romantic dinner for me. I heard his voice. Chloe, are you ready? The lights came on, and I saw a bunch of my classmates. Liv, Keanu, and John were among them. They shouted, surprise! They were smirking as they took a photo of me and burst out laughing. Why are you doing this? You deserve it for being so pushy. I felt gutted. Those traitors! I couldn't stand it. I started crying like a baby and ran home. There, I locked myself in my room and told my parents that either they would transfer me to a new school or I would never leave the house ever again. So soon, I was transferred to another school and started to pick up the pieces of my perfect life. I made new friends and got new fans there. Take Oscar, for example. He fell for me and started hitting on me on my first day at the new school. Chloe, you're perfect. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Um, I was, to put it mildly, out of Oscar's league. He wore ridiculous clothes and was bad at giving gifts. Like, hello, mm. why would he give me a book as a present in 2023? But Oscar was smart and did well at school. He could be useful. So I decided to date him despite all of that. It seemed things were looking up. But I couldn't forget about the betrayal of my former friends. I even started having nightmares about Liv, John, and Keanu laughing at me in the gym. Ugh! That's it! I'll teach those traitors that broke my heart a lesson! The next day, Oscar and I were watching a school play. It was based on Tim Burton's cartoon. But all I could think about was getting revenge. Liv was probably over the moon I'd transferred to another school. Now it was clear to me that my friend had always envied me. I quickly came up with a plan. She wouldn't get away with being so mean to me. But I needed help. So I pouted and I tried to look pitiful. Oscar fell for it and asked me if I was all right. Did I ever tell you about my friends breaking my heart at my old school? I told him about my friend's betrayal and he agreed to help me. <laughs> it was time to get started. Oscar and I snuck into the swimming pool where Liv practiced. We needed to distract the coach. Um, could you tell me how to get to the library? 
Meanwhile, I snuck into the showers and poured green paint into Liv's shower gel. It was used by movie makers, so I knew it couldn't be dangerous. However, my former friend would be washing it off for a long time. Soon, she ran out of the shower, <laughs> green as a cucumber. Oscar and I were waiting, our phones at the ready. Hey, Grinch, bring back Christmas! <laughs> and don't forget to smile. Chloe, did you do this? Bingo! That's for your betrayal. You started it! Or did you forget? Liv burst out crying and shouted that I'd been bossing her around for years and even stolen John from her. <sighs> Who cares? I felt vindicated and left. Once we were outside, Oscar stopped and asked me warily if what Liv had said was true. Well, John was our mutual friend. He and Liv used to date, but I decided they weren't right for each other, so I stole him. He didn't mind at all. It wasn't a big deal. Oscar hmm. seemed lost in thought, but didn't say anything else. For a while, I was happy and kept hanging out with my new friends and Oscar. But soon, I started having nightmares about the betrayal of my former friends again. I decided it was time to teach John a lesson. I knew he was scared to death of horror movies. So I got an idea. But I hmm. needed Oscar's help again. Do you remember that terrible play we watched? Can you steal the Ghost Bride costume from me for one night? No, Chloe. I don't want to do the dirty work for you. Just forget about it. Let's go to the Natural History Museum instead. I heard the new dinosaur exhibit is cool. What? Did he just refuse to help me? That wasn't part of my plan. So I shed a tear and I told Oscar I couldn't sleep because of the nightmares I had about my former friends. It worked and he stole the costume from the drama club for me. Ugh. It was so creepy that even I got goosebumps. I knew that John came back home from rehearsals late in the evening through the park. I changed into the ghost bride costume and I went there with Oscar. My boyfriend hid behind a tree to film everything. And I hid behind a bench. When John was passing by, I jumped out from my hiding place. Prue! My former friend screamed in horror. John almost fainted, but Oscar held him up and sat him down on a bench. I started to gloat. Getting such surprises is nasty, isn't it, traitor? John recognized me and scowled. He tried to say something, but he'd screamed so loudly his voice had been reduced to little more than a whisper. Are you seriously playing the victim? You made me break up with Liv, and then you dumped me as soon as you saw Keanu. And now I've lost my voice because of you. We're performing tomorrow. I didn't want to hear his excuses, and I went home pleased with myself. Huh. Oscar quickly caught up to me and asked huh? me cautiously if what John had said was true. Well, yeah. I quickly realized that John wasn't my Mr. Perfect and dumped him when a new student hmm. transferred to our school. Huh? It was John's own fault. How could a guy be that sensitive? <laughs> anyway, if he really liked Liv, he wouldn't have broken up with her. Oscar said that I was going too far and should stop. But I had gotten a taste for it now. Moreover, hmm. I'd already come up with a plan to teach Keanu a lesson. He was the one who'd wronged me the most. I made a new social media account and texted Keanu, pretending to be a cute girl called Lisa. You want to know my devious plan? I decided huh. to ask him out on a date and make it just as terrible as the surprise Keanu had once arranged for me. I came up to Oscar at school and asked him for help again. However, he immediately shook his head. I'm sorry, but I'm not getting involved in this again. I thought you were good, but I was wrong. Your friends huh? have been through a lot and you deserved to be taught a lesson. Oh, was that right? Ugh, I wasn't expecting that. I told Oscar I could do it without him. And <laughs> FYI, I've never liked you. I was just using you. <gasps> then I'm glad I saw the real you before you broke my heart. That's how our relationship ended. I kept texting Keanu from my fake account. When I was sure that Cupid Zero had hit Keanu, I asked him out to that terrible cafe. I wanted to see on his face once he realized Lisa wasn't real. That evening, I had trouble falling asleep again. Not because of nightmares, but because I was thinking about Oscar's words. Could it be that I really had wronged my friends? Was this what they called remorse? Stupid thoughts, get out of my head! In the morning, my classmates glared at and ignored me. I quickly figured out what had happened. Oscar must have turned everyone against me. I was fuming when I found him. Who do you think you are? The moral police? Don't you dare make me look bad. I was expecting him to start stuttering and making excuses, but Oscar just shrugged calmly. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. You posted those videos of Liv and John so everyone huh? would laugh at them. But now everyone knows what kind of person you are. That's why no one wants to hang out with you anymore. 
Then, Oscar told me that he'd found out from his friend that went to my old school that I had tried to make Keanu fall for me by lying and tricking him. Everyone at that school disliked me and was afraid of me. That's why they worked together to get back at me. Just admit that you crossed a line and had it coming. I looked around and saw that everyone in the hallway huh? was glaring at me reproachfully. <laughs> Who were they to judge me? I didn't wait for the end of classes and ran home. I told my parents that either they'd transfer me to a new school or I'd never leave my room ever again. Mom sighed heavily and patted me on the head. Chloe, that would be your fifth school. You get your heart broken time after time. Maybe it's not your classmate's fault. Think about it, maybe you're the one doing something wrong. My parents left and I locked myself in my room and growled into the pillow. I was bubbling with anger and resentment. Everyone was against me. But after a while, I calmed down and thought about my actions. Hmm. What if mom was right and I only had myself to blame for my problems? <sighs> Liv, John, and I used to have a lot of fun together. They really were my best friends and I miss them but I ruined everything because I thought I was better than them and always wanted to be the center of attention. I wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Liv, but she didn't pick up the phone. Hmm, maybe she's at practice? I called her mom and found out a lot of surprising things. It turned out that when I stole Liv's boyfriend, she had a nervous breakdown and spent several days in a hospital. Jeez, I thought she was just visiting her grandmother. What had I done? Then I called John. However, he didn't want to talk to me either. But his dad told me that after I'd left John for Keanu, he was a complete mess. So he failed an audition and missed the chance to sign a good contract. I realized that I was a terrible person and didn't deserve such great friends. All I did was hurt them. So I decided to fix everything. I recorded a video apology and sent it to John. Liv and the rest of my classmates from my old school. Then I invited them to the cafe where Keanu was supposed to meet Lisa for their date. I didn't know if it would work, but I prepared for the meeting anyway. No one came to the cafe except Keanu. Well, what did I expect? It was my own fault that everyone had turned their backs on me and didn't even want to talk to me. Keanu was furious when he saw me instead of the non-existent Lisa. Uh, Chloe, is this about your revenge again? How can anyone be so mean and vindictive? I'm sorry, I know I've been acting like a selfish monster. My apology won't fix the things I've done, but I promise I'll do better. I convinced the producers to give John another chance and sold all my jewelry to buy Liv a trip to a spa resort so she could swim there as much as she wants. I'm very sorry about what happened. <laughs> I miss my friends. Then tell them that yourself. Keanu smirked and pointed behind me. Wow. I turned around and saw Liv, John, and the rest of my classmates. They heard everything. I smiled and felt tears roll down my face. Guys, I'm so sorry for everything. They said they needed to think about it and left. I was all alone. I came home and spent the night tossing and turning. I kept wondering if they would give me another chance and only fell asleep in the morning. I woke up because someone was patting me on the shoulder. Hey, huh? sleepyhead, wake up. We're gonna be late for school. Liv, what are you doing here? Your parents let me in. Wow, you look terrible. Have you been crying over soap operas all night? I couldn't help but throw my arms around her. Mom walked into my room and said, surprise. Liv called me and told me you apologized to your friends. Your father and I decided to transfer you back to your old school. It turned out that everyone had forgiven me and was waiting for my wow. return. <laughs> I had never felt so happy. I decided I would no longer be self-centered. After making up with my old friends, I decided to talk to Oscar and all the other guys from his school. Hello, I've been reading the book you gave me, and I also have museum tickets. We could look at those dinosaurs together. I'm sorry, Chloe, but I don't want to hang out with you. Neither do my classmates. I'm glad you've changed, but that's it. Oh, I realized that not all relationships could be fixed. You can never be sure if you'll get a second chance or not. So treasure your friends and be polite to everyone. In the meantime, though, write in the comments down below. How can I make up with Oscar and should I even try? I like the coolest answers.